morning, everybody. Time for the Monday Business Boost. I hope you had an excellent weekend uh, filled with friends and family and relaxing time and just remembering all the great things around us. It's beautiful here in Montana. I love Montana in the summertime. It's nice weather outside. It's just really great to be in a place that's so beautiful. And we're reminded of that as entrepreneurs, we get entrepreneurs and small business owners, we really, it's really challenging this time of year because we have so many obligations in our businesses when it comes to business operations, when it comes to marketing and lead generation and finances and all of these things that we need to take care of. It's really easy to get caught up in that business cycle and not pay attention to what's around us. And I think it's a good, this is not something new and and monumental that I'm gonna talk about today, but I think it's just an important reminder to remember that of what's around us and remember that there are other things in our lives outside of our business. And the more we nurture those and the more that we grow ourselves, the easier it is to make our business run efficiently and make our business run productively because we are in a better place. And we are in a better place to not only serve our businesses, but serve our customers and also serve our the people around us, our friends and our family. So. So what I'm going to talk about today. Just a couple of reminders that this time of year makes us think about. Um, just remind that it's a really important time to think about our time and how we manage our time and how we can think. We all have different ways that we can think of creative ways to create more time in our day that has everything to do with productivity and efficiency of the systems that we have, not only in our businesses, but in our home lives and in our in our social lives, whatever that is. We want to be a part of, we want to be, we want to live the life that we want to. That's why we're entrepreneurs. That's why we work in small businesses. But we need to remember that too. So time management is a critical skill to think about and a critical piece to think about not only when we run our businesses, but also thinking about prioritizing where we are in our time and prioritizing our tasks and our duties so we're not overloaded with all of these things. So when we think about time management, think about your schedule. What does your day look like? How many hours do you have in the day? If you have a family like I do, then you have to think about how what time your kids need compared to what time your home life needs, all of these. And the time management has never become more critical now that many of our businesses have moved into our homes. And we have to manage all of these different things with the social distancing requirements. So it, time management is critical, not only keeping a schedule, but also prioritizing your activities that need schedule. If you're an entrepreneur, small business owner, you know that lead generation and connecting with potential customers is something that's really important for our businesses to keep our businesses running. We all want to be at the point where we have referral based businesses, where we have people just coming to us for business but we don't get there unless we keep promoting ourselves and unless we keep talking about these things that keep our businesses going. So thinking about that time, prioritizing your activities, knowing that you need a certain amount of time each day for lead generation, for social media man management, whatever that is, understanding the needs of your business and understanding the needs of what's around you is something that's just critical for us to think about. Also, time management is something that can give us, that gives us time with our family, gives us time our, for, with our friends, gives us time to ourselves. That's what's important to think about when we, um, when we think about how to manage and schedule our time. And that leads us to the second point to talk about is that we all need to work in, we, we need to think about not only managing time for our business and managing time for our families, but managing time for ourselves. It's important to rejuvenate and and have those creative juices flowing again in whatever way that you decide is best for you to do. How can you perform at your best ability? And that's what makes you more productive. Maybe it's going to the gym or maybe it's going for a walk or maybe it's getting outside, whatever that is, making sure that you are giving time to yourself every day 
to be able to perform at your best the next day. I think that's something we often lose, especially in the summer when the kids are at home and we don't really have a schedule or if we're fortunate enough to have that time or we lose it during the year too when there's not as much sunlight and then we don't think about doing things for ourselves to rejuvenate ourselves and to get ourselves into that best place to be able to work at our best. Our productivity, our efficiency will all become that much better when we get enough sleep, when we take time for ourselves, and when we build that resilience in ourselves, we gotta take some time to ourselves. So think about what works for you and what is best for you, and think about what is, how you can give yourself that time every day to put yourself in the best place possible. The last thing that I wanted to talk about today is how important it is in this era of social distancing, in this era of being away from other people and being online all the time, how important it is for us to leave time for ourselves to connect with our family and our friends. And hopefully you all had a chance to connect with people close to you this weekend, family and friends and colleagues and coworkers and on a different social level. Because as entrepreneurs and small business owners, we get into this cycle where it's business all the time and we're constantly promoting our business, constantly working on our business, but having relationships outside of that is something that's also critical. And it's a way that we can rejuvenate and way we can become more creative and making connections with other people. That's what relationships, businesses are all about relationships. And not to, and you have to nurture the relationships that you have with your family and friends and coworkers and former customers. All of those relationships are so critical. Take time, reach out, make a phone call, have some communication. That is something that helps put you in the right place for work. We all have that need for that social interaction. That's a human human need that we have and that communication is so critical. Uh, just to think about how to best perform in your business and how to best perform and be with your family is something that we've got to we've got to think about and we've got to take some time for ourselves. Everything that helps us not only be a productive and efficient entrepreneur and small business owner, but it helps get us into that state where we can thrive, where we create more energy, where we start to think about things that can be automated and think about things, think about when we do things and have something consistent with our schedule, where we have all of these consistent things with our schedule, that's when we can be at our best place to create a thriving business environment and to create more energy in our day so we can perform at our best and be at our best. So I hope you all had a great 4th of July weekend. I have this appropriate 4th of July flag behind me. So I hope you had a great 4th of July weekend. I hope you're able to connect with your family and friends. Also take some time for yourself uh, to give yourself the time to rejuvenate and get you back into the work mode and or to even get you back into the best mode that you can be in so you can be prepared to thrive in whatever it is you're doing. So if you have any questions, I'd love to talk with you more in my whole program. The Thriving Entrepreneur Program is based about around how to create these systems, how to create these human connections, how to help you perform at your best, and let's talk about ways that you can become better at your business and you can become have, have this schedule and have this time that creates more time for you and lets your audience know and your, your friends and your family know that your relationships are at the utmost importance of you and your business. So hope you all have a great week. Uh, we are well into July right now. I always say as a professor, a teacher, that it's, you know, July hits and then it's a downward slide into the school year. So I hope you all have a great week. I hope you enjoy this gorgeous weather and I hope you make some connections out there with your family. So uh, shoot me a message if you want to talk more about the Thriving Entrepreneur Program. Love to have a chat with you. So talk to you soon.